It's Bloody Game Reviews, the show that reviews your games on YouTube. On today's show, we go through a very enemy crusher game. We're crushing the enemies uh, in Clock 74's game here, Enemy Crusher 2. Also, we're going through a small mini game of a hellstorm where we're thrown straight into this battle scene. Uh, trying to get the one crystal in the death zone. Also, we're playing the hit game Turn to Wipe Out, but it's of doom. It's Blood of Game Reviews. Hit the titles. It's that time again! Hello and welcome to Splodder Game Reviews, the show what reviews your games on YouTube. I'm Oliver Eaton, also known as the Blue Sun, and if you was very quiet, that's my dad playing FIFA in the background, he's rubbish. But if you have not seen it yet, I've got massive announcements. Me and Jeff have agreed to do a question and answer. Oh yes, you have to find the video on my channel for that. But anyway, it's about the game fish. You know what games are on it. Here's today's first game. Enemy Crusher 2 by Clock74. Alright, we've got our first game to review today. This is Enemy Crusher 2 by Clock74. So let's begin on the old platformer creator. So, uh, starting on this level and uh, kind of... Uh, first impact and the first impression is it looks quite basic, however, uh, we'll give it a chance. So, here you are once again, and with 60, uh, and with uh, early gun and roughly 60 shots. However, enemies will be after your house, protect it before it's too late. Right, is there a way out of this? I oh, know we have to shoot. Alright, so let's begin our adventure, enemy crusher. So, uh, so, uh, it looks popular because, uh, in the description does say, uh, something about it being popular and they wanted to release. So, so far, I haven't had many enemies to actually kill off, I don't know, but I'm guessing that's an intro of such, a uh, little basic at the moment, so let's see if the game can improve. Alright, so, we have got, uh, across the scene of enemies. Uh, little laggy, I have to give him that. Uh, little laggy, I'll give him that, sorry. I, I forgot to adjust all the uh, sound levels. Uh, very laggy, actually, but uh, that's not his fault or the game, it's just uh, internet speed. Uh, but so far, uh, I think, although uh, earlier it did look a little basic, and it is. Slightly easier on a platformer to review than other game creators, but uh, I think really some games have very there is very many different types of games on what you can make on this, so it's kind of hard to make an overall judgment on how to rate it 10 out of 10. Because uh, you get the feature worthy kind of aspect of it, and at the moment, uh, definitely not feature worthy. Uh, but uh, I'm sure uh, it is enjoyable when I don't lag. Apologies uh, for that. And now it looks like I'm now in the den full of them. Uh, this is awkward, this. Apologise uh, for lagging this. Uh, oh dear. Um, I know I'm saying that a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to think of this game. I'm not overly impressed. I don't come out of me saying, you know, it is a particular uh, blockbuster game. Uh, simply because I think this level does let it down, and I know maybe like an intro storyteller uh, can page, but uh, if we had a bit of background, you know, it will make it look like it's quite a good quality, and that's what you want to get for the first part of your game. Uh, you want people to stay in your game, and so far it doesn't really do that to me. Uh, this game, uh, and especially with the lagginess in that bit, uh, of course it's not the fault of the maker but uh 
it does ruin the experience of playing the game. That's the only uh, thing I've got from it. So let's try and uh, get as far as we did before. Oh man, I hate lagginess of games sometimes. Uh, but we have got graphics. It, I'm not saying this game looks rushed at all because uh, I'm sure it isn't. Uh, it just looks it at times and uh, that could be improved now. Of course, we have completely lagged out here. Uh, I don't know. Now, uh, one thing I do like about this game is the graphics used and sometimes the graphics can I made the game a little bit better, and in this case it has, uh, with the book shot, uh, the bookcases there. Uh, so uh, that will increase the score. However, uh, on a term of enjoyable, uh, really, I'm not particularly enjoying myself right now. It's simply because of the lagginess. Uh, it is, I'm sure it is a quite tough game, but it is uh, a game of killing enemies, which is a very basic idea. However, uh, could, if done right, is effective. Now, so I'm going to die, and I'm still alive. Uh, in the lagginess mess, what I am in right now, uh, but uh, um, ooh, uh, but the graphics, I think, and I, I really don't want to sound harsh, but I think the graphics for me at the moment are one of the early things what are actually keeping this game above a five at the moment. Uh, it's very average uh, difficulty, it's not spread out, and as you see, I'm, I am going to leave it there. Uh, but Clock Center 4, there is a lot to improve about this game. However, it is easily improved by a little bit of changes. Uh, maybe making it a more of a structured level. Uh, by this, I mean, like, have it look a bit more professional. But overall, it's a good start to a game, and it is a popular series, so I'm not going to tear that away from him. Uh, good job, anyway, on that. Anyway, this was Enemy Crusher 2 by Clock 74. Here's my overview of the review with the grand score. Alright, we've got a second review today. This is Hellstorm by Toby Stratus 8. We're still on the platform. And now, uh, this straight away, we've got quite a decorated game. Uh, by this... Ah, uh, no. Uh, by this... Uh, you can tell by the background is good detail and I also like this we've kind of got the automatic gates which uh, really for this game is quite unique uh, it's not actually something I've disco oh, uh, discovered so that's uh, a good job there all right so <laughs> okay so uh Straight away, we've kind of into the action, and I do like that in this game. We've got the kind of the matching background as well as the uh, the play area, and it we have got a range of oh, we've got a range of different difficulties, and that is a good uh, oh no, it's a good aspect in the game. So far, a good start. Of course, dying there, but the game is possible as you can see there. Hellstorm, we're straight into the hell in the storm, so uh, it's good. From what I've seen uh, so far. Oh man, really? And of course, uh, I like these automatic gates here as well. They're very effective. As well, uh, I don't know how you actually do that. Okay. I don't know if that first happened then. Just get out of these guys' ways. Oh man, this is where I went wrong last time. Yay, we did it. Okay, so a kind of a glitchy way to win there, but we managed to do it in record time in there uh, on the scoreboard. So a uh, very short for a game, however, uh, maybe well with it being this short, it cost it wouldn't be feature worthy. However, I don't know if you have already, but maybe add eight more levels to this kind of this quality. Uh, then another storyline, and that's how you you know advance your game to make it get more popular and more of a uh, full pack game. Uh, that as a level, I think it was good. It was a high quality standard. Uh, of course, with it just being a random one-off game kind of uh, objective, uh, that does take a little bit of the formula to get in numbers on my grand score. Uh, but uh, as a start of a game, I think it's good, and it could be a series. Uh, like I said, just advancing the game uh, to go back, it could be a good uh, game. Love the detail on the colours and all that. 
Uh, it's a good, it's a good start to a platformer game. So here's my overview of the review with the grand. All right, here's our third and final review. This is Wipeout of Doom, the demo uh, by Mighty and Sonic. This is based on the hit show Total Wipeout. So uh, starting with uh, a very automatic uh, intro there. Looks pretty nice, very well, good uh, with the physics, of course, that is important. Sometimes on the physics creator, creating something like that. So as you can see, we've got kind of an evil version of Total Wipeout, and it looks good. Uh, straight away we're into kind of this 3D area and it's uh, more eviler and it's also quite unique because it's not actually on uh, the physics game creator really. Uh, of course I say that but there is quite a lot of copies but it isn't a popular game creator to make uh, Turtle Wiper on so uh, it looks good and it's hard. Wow. So uh, yeah we're straight into the impact and uh, of course uh, color wise it looks good we haven't got the purple background we've got the 3d that looks good uh, and the lava of course uh, that looks also good oh ah oh, that's a shame uh yeah so it's kind of uh, based on the wipeout the total wipeout uh uh game show uh, but it's more of a posh version so uh let's just play a bit more See if we could get any further. All right. So uh, maybe I think the other thing I have seen a little bit repetitive on this kind of swirly thing. Uh, it looks all right. We've kind of got the. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't know you have to go there. We've kind of got uh, the block, the things associated with to wipe out, and that looks. I like that in this game. Uh, it looks good, and I think. Of course, it's early demo. I can't wait for the full game to come out because I do love Turtle Wipeout games. They are fun to play. Uh, so I can't wait to play the actual full game, what will hopefully come out. Alright. So that looks alright, and I love this tad tunnel as well. So it's kind of a more physics, more friendly game to Turtle Wipeout. So it looks good. Uh, of course, it is a demo. I'm hoping the full game comes out soon. Uh, and I want to keep him to that. Make sure I bring out the full game because I'll love to review it in the new series back in uh, May. Anyway, this is in the game already. So here's my overview of the review with the grand score. I know that you want to be on this show. Here's how. One of the easiest ways you could get your game reviewed is commenting a link to your game and asking me to review it. All you have to do is post it to the Blue Sun account link. You can also request a review on the Splur the Game Reviews show you're actually watching. All you have to do is go down to the comments and just type what game you want to review. But also give me a link. Or on Twitter, you could go to hashtag SplodaGR to talk about the show or to also request your game. It couldn't be more easier to get your game reviewed. And that's all we have time for, so make sure you send in your questions for Jeff on the video or on this video, as I'll take them in anyway. And fingers crossed, please make them unique, because we've had a lot very similar. Uh, also, make sure you press the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the news and stuff on my channel uh, for Spurder Game Reviews and all that. Also, make sure you press the like button because it does mean a lot uh, and I also get paid for it. <laughs> you know, uh, YouTube is a good business. And also, uh, yes, get your questions in and remember, next month Spurder Game Reviews will not be on as I am taking a massive break. But don't worry, if you make sure you join my Splurder Game Reviews hub on Splurder for all updates on the new series. The new series is going to be better than ever, and you're going to be part of it. You're going to help me make it. But make sure you join the group. Details on that coming up. But thanks for watching. As ever, I'm Oliver Vitton, also known as the Blue Sun. Tune in for Thursday's episode. But until then, goodbye. Here's them details. Do you want to keep up to date with the news or have an easy place to request a game? Well, the wait is over. 
please join my new group, the Sploder Game Reviews Hub, where you can join here, speak to me, uh, and also get all the latest updates and news related to the show. Also, you can ask your questions, and as I said, you can request your games. If you don't know how to find the group, go on to my account, which the link is in the description, and come down to here to the Sploder Game Reviews Hub. By clicking on it, you can join the group, and I always accept. So, join now! What are you waiting for? Here's Splutter Game Reviews. 